In this video I'll be showing you how to complete the ripped off inside of the Tower of Babel easter egg from Transit. This is a solo only guide that is used via a mod on Plutonium. So you need the Plutonium launcher as well as the mod in order to be able to do this solo. I'll link both of these down in the description for you all. There are some prerequisites you will need to do before you can start this easter egg. The first one being you will need to build the nav card table. There are four parts for the nav card table. Some have multiple spawn points within different areas. The first part you can find by the bus depot if you simply just come out of the bus depot and come over to where the bus is normally parked you'll see this hole in the wall here near where the mystery box can spawn and inside this hole in the wall you will see the purple meteor right simply interact with that to pick it up once you picked up a part from the nav card table and this also applies to any other item you build on the map you will need to go and place that part down on the workbench or the area where you need to build it as you cannot hold multiple parts at the exact same time you will want to head over to the cornfields this is in between the third and fourth stop the third stop is the farm and the fourth stop is the power station you want to go to the left hand side of the cornfield where you see a giant radio tower simply head over through the cornfield until you get underneath that radio tower once you do so head over to this exact spot here and you should see that it will prompt you to hold to build a part and this will place this down in the area remember that you need to do this for every single part of the nav card table that you pick up the next part is the wooden plank this can be found in two areas of the map this can be found within the tunnel area it's just over here by the zombie barrier and the tunnel is found in between the bus depot and the diner and the second area that the wooden plank can be found in is the power station this can be found on the level below where you would normally find tombstone soda so you simply walk off of the area where tombstone is located down across this little beam and then come over here to these barrels and you will find the wooden plank on the floor there the third part is the electric box this can be found in two areas first area it can be found in is the farmhouse that is the left hand side of the fridge on the wall and the second area can be found over by the town it's behind in the little alleyway where the mystery box can spawn some sometimes and it's leaning up against this dumpster and the final part that you need is the radio this can be found again in two different areas the first area is over in the diner and this is inside of the garage on top of this metal cabinet and the second area it can be found inside of nut down totem nut down totem is again found in the cornfields it's on the opposite side to where the radio tower was if you come over to the right hand side of nut you'll find it on top of this metal cabinet here once you've got all the parts and you built them over by the radio tower you will then be prompted to put in a nav card nav card that you need you can find within buried the nav card that you need to insert is only needed for the super easter egg so if you just want to complete the transit easter egg and that's it then it doesn't matter nav card and buried can be found if you go through the ghost house normally once and if you come back through it again through the back entrance if you go past the piano that's used for the 10 point perk easter egg if you just come around the corner by these bookshelves you can find the nav card there once you have the buried nav card that you need you simply just need to head over to the nav card table on transit inside of the cornfields and interact with it and this will put the nav card inside of that nav card table next you will need to turn on the power unlike other maps in this map you actually have to build the power the power is the fourth stop on the bus route in order to build the power you need to find three parts each part has three possible spawn locations within the power area they're in the following locations once again you can only pick up one part at a time and then build it on the buildable table within the power area to start off with the main body if you come from the entrance area into the power spot where the power door is for the pack a punch and just walk down the little hallway here straight away to your left next to this pipe and this barrel you'll find the part leaning up against the wall second location if you come to the back of the power area where you actually build the power switch within that room if you turn around and look at this wall over here you will see that it is leaning up against the wall and the glass there and the final location coming from the entrance area once again if you walk down the hallway into the open room and then straight away down the stairs in front of you you will see the part leaning up against this crate second part is the handle coming from the entrance area if you walk down down the hallway into the open room and take a far right over by these boxes here you will find it on the floor second spot inside the room where you build the power while facing the buildable bench if you take a right and then come over to these computer terminals over here you'll find it leaning up against one of them in the corner final area once again coming inside the room where you build the power facing the workbench if you just come over to the left hand side of the workbench on the computer terminal area you'll see it leaning up against them there final part is the hand coming from the entrance area if you come down the hallway and just before you go down the stairs to your right next to the railing you'll find the hand on the floor second area coming from the room where you build the power switch if you turn around and walk out of there into the main room and take a far left and keep going all the way around until you get next to these two pipes on the floor you'll find the next spot there the final location you can find it just outside of the door which leads into the area where you build the power switch once you collected all the parts and put them onto the workbench in order to build the power switch simply flick on the power switch to turn on power to the whole map you now need to go and build a 
jet gun. The jet gun has four parts, they're all in the following locations. The first part is the main body of the jet gun. This can be found in the tunnel and it has three spawn areas. First spawn if you come to the tunnel and come to the lava pit in the middle here and then just come straight over to this corner over here you will find the jet gun piece just there. Second area if you come over to this little staircase bit here next to the zombie barrier as well as the M16 wall bite you can find it leaning up here against the wall. In the final spawn area you can find in between two cars next to the lava pool area which is between a white and blue car. Once you picked up a jet gun piece once again you can only hold one piece at a time so you will need to go and build each piece over inside of the town's bar area. This is next to where the stamina up machine is and there's a workbench just over here inside the bar. Next part we need is the coil of wires. This can be found inside of the power station. Once again there are three spawn areas for the part. First location if you come over to where the tombstone Serda perk machine normally is if you then drop down to the second floor level and look over here to the right on this generator you'll find it here. Second area if you come down the beam and then come around the corner here over this little ledge which is right next to the lava pit you'll find it right on the corner here. And then the third location if you come through into this tiny little area here you'll see next to the zombie barrier there is a barrel it will be on top of this barrel the third part is the handle the handle can be found within nuts again it has three spawn areas first spawn area if you come over to the left hand side here next to where the help door normally is on top of this cabinet next to this lantern you'll find a part there second part if you come over to the middle of nut by this staircase you'll find it on this shelf here and then the final part if you come to the right hand side you'll notice over on this bookshelf it can be found right there and then the final part for the jet gun you will need the gauge the gauge can be found inside the hunter's lodge and again has three spawn areas within the hunter's lodge the hunter's lodge is also located between the power station and town the first spot it can spawn is to the left hand side of the fireplace second area can be found on the spring bed and then the third area can be found on the little wooden table next to the spring bed once you built the jet gun inside of the bar pick it up at this point you'll want to head over to the mystery box and try and get an explosive weapon and also preferably get the emp grenades which you will need for later on two best explosive weapons you can use for this are the rpg and the ray gun once you've got an explosive weapon then you will need to then head over to the pylon where the nav car table is. Once you get there you will then want to pull out the jet gun and shoot the jet gun either at the nav car table all the way through until the jet gun explodes or you can shoot it to the top of the pylon by just looking up at the air. Again when you pull it out you just want to hold down the trigger for the jet gun until the jet gun explodes. Once you've done this you will then want to get 25 kills with an explosive weapon underneath the pylon. Simple way to do this is to just train a horde of zombies underneath the pylon. Once you've got a load of them all together then just shoot your explosive weapon at the floor. If you're using an RPG this is definitely the best way of doing this. If you're using a ray gun you could just take them out one at a time. At this point you will now need to have acquired the EMP grenades as well as the turbine. EMP grenades you can get from the mystery box. As for the turbine if you come over to the bus depot in the spawn room where you start at the beginning of the game you'll find three parts for the turbine inside that area. They're always in the same locations every single time when you play the game. Once you've built all the parts onto that table you can then pick up the turbine. You'll then want to walk over to one of the lamps it doesn't matter which one but I recommend either the bus depot or otherwise you could go over to the one by the diner. You simply want to put the turbine down in front of the lamp. You then want to run off into the fog and get one of the denizens to land on top of your head and then run over to that lamp with the denizen on top of your head and what this will do is the denizen will then jump off the player's head and go into the ground creating a little teleporter beneath you. You can then pick up your turbine as you don't need to leave it down any longer. You then need to throw an EMP down on the floor next to that lamp and then jump straight away into the teleporter once you do so it will then teleport you to another random lamp around the map you then want to immediately throw your other emp down in front of that lamp that you've just teleported to once this is done this will then cause a spark of blue light to fly up towards the radio tower in the middle of the map and you will hear a quote from Richthofen if you are playing a samuel studinger congratulations you have now completed the tower bubble easter egg on Richthofen's side there is one reward that you can get at the end of this game but it's completely random how it spawns in if you run over to the bottom of the radio tower you will obviously now notice this of course that it is sparking blue to indicate that you've completely ripped off inside but you should also notice sometimes while playing through the game you're currently in still that sometimes it will spawn a random power up underneath the tower if you leave the power up for a few seconds it will actually keep changing to a different power up so if you need something like a max ammo just wait for a bit and see if it changes to a max ammo and then you can pick that up otherwise that's all there is to this video i hope you guys found it useful if you need another guide to the transit easter egg or anything else regarding zombies i'll have links to those down in the description description as well as the pinned comment. I will also have a link to the Maxis side of the transit easter egg down in the description in the pinned comment as well. Otherwise I'll see you all in the next video.